record this thing. Hello, my internet friends, and welcome to the hottest damn new internet show on the Information Superhighway, Talking Mayhem Mania. I am your host in the mainstream media. I don't know what camera to look at, so I'm just staring off into space right now. Sometimes Sorg lets me do it. Sometimes he points me in the right direction right there. Hey, everybody. Um, we had a spectacular round tonight. Uh, all of our old favorites were back, and they were pulling no punches. We had some Punishment. We had some Riz. We had some Bobby. We had some Mad Mike. We had some Sorg. And, oh, oh praise be to the higher power. We had some Tonio Garza tonight. And Garza is with us for Talking Mayhem Mania. What's up, buddy? What's up, Matt? Uh, are, we, are we talking about the Flat Earth? No, right? This is a different show? No, we're not talking. That is Talking Flat Earth. That is after oh, oh, we're sorry, Talking sorry, Mayhem sorry. Mania. Um, I'm just curious because I know you're very busy with your uh, with your with your website, the uh, the Wrestling Revolution. Um, how closely have you been following uh, Mayhem Mania prior to this evening? Well, uh, I don't know if people that watch this show know, but I'm the one that does the images, so I've been following quite quite closely to every decision. And every time I see someone that is not in the roster, I'm like, wow, oh, man, why are they people that are not in the roster? So today I actually went ahead and. I did it to myself. <laughs> I do not know why. I just felt it was proper. I think you're going to be all right because I think all three of these guys um, in your Booker T, Scott Steiner, Kurt Angle, Main Event Mafia reunion team, uh, I think they should all be on the WWE.com alumni section. So I think you're going to be okay. I don't yeah, think you put yourself in too bad. That. I'm just hoping that the picture they have of Scott Steiner is not old school Steiner Brothers. Yeah. I want Big Papa Pump. You want like old? You want like 50 year old Big Papa Pump? Or you want like, oh, yeah, yeah. like beating I Goldberg like, Big Papa Pump? Like, no, I want like showing my peaks Big Papa Pump. Yeah, you want like the, the sword tattoo and everything, like the whole. Yep. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, yeah, what, what's been the um, most troubling uh, graphic for you to create so far this year at Mayhem Mania? So, so far, I guess. Um... It was probably when they started using Trent Severn for Mustache Mountain uh, mm -hmm. because I, I apparently don't didn't have any images on on Seven, and since he's barely starting to like get popular in the independent scene, so there wasn't many images like good images to pick on. So that was one. I also have to give a shout out to to the intergender couples match. Yeah, it started to get out of hand. Yeah, there was a point that I got worried that they were going to start bringing Carmella and Ken. And <laughs> yeah, else is out there that's a couple, and I was like, oh man, there's not going to be enough space for this. Yeah, we we are one more team away from trouble. But fortunately, Riz yeah. came and, and killed that sucker with fire tonight. So, so much for yeah. that match. Um, what else was I going to mention? Oh, whatever. Um, I, I'm always thinking about, you know, kind of wrestlers that WWE kind of like has in their camp, but like are not being used really. And whenever I heard that you were coming on, one of the very, very underutilized, but I'm sure we'll be seeing more of them in NXT. But whenever we, I heard you were coming on the show, I immediately thought of Tommy End. Um, is that a guy you were thinking about maybe using? Or, or, or do you have a high opinion of him? Or am I just connecting you guys incorrectly? No, no. I definitely love Tommy End. Uh, I honestly did not remember he was in the roster, to be honest. <laughs> uh between my other options that I had was bringing in Roderick Strong because I knew that was going to piss off Mike and I lived to <laughs> for that. And the other option was to try and use uh, Grand Metallic, Grand Metallic, and, uh, <laughs> and Andrade Cien Almas because I've seen them fight before in Mexico. So I figured, you know, that's, that's something I should probably be working for. But yeah, like Tommy and I, I completely blanked out. I. I feel terrible about that now. <laughs> well, just a lesson to everybody out there. And, and Garza, we can, we'll try to get you back on. So free Tommy End. Let's get him into a match. Someone out there who has the knowledge to use him properly. Um, Garza, we've got some business to do here. I promise everyone to tell everybody we graduated another match tonight. Our third of Mayhem Mania, The Shield versus The New Day, has graduated to the Supercard. Uh, Mad Mike created it, so Mad Mike will get to come back and... Uh, collect his rewards and indeed part of that is handing out some punishment but i gotta tell you and, and, and maybe you might share this opinion with me i was really hoping that someone would have jumped in and found another opponent for the shield 
I just I'm not feeling this match at all. I mean, I I, I congratulate Mad Mike on on getting a match to graduate, but me personally, I was kind of holding out that maybe with Finn Balor floating around out there that or and even for a moment Styles was free that someone would jump in and form up Bullet Club to go against the against the Shield, but it didn't end up happening. Me, me too. I agree. Uh, I felt Shield versus the New Day was a match for for last year, and I don't know. I I, I just wanted to see a different trio go up against the Shield. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe British Strong Style or Sanity. Well, probably not Sanity. But uh, I don't know. You could probably come out with a, with a good trio, and I don't know. Like I guess uh, it's unfortunate. Bullet Club would have been a, a beautiful option, most definitely. Yeah. Um. Also, we had an issue where tonight where Missy, the wife of the show, used the one-time use only subtract option to remove Elias Sampson, the drifter, from Elias Sampson versus AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, essentially creating AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Then you came in and killed Styles versus Nakamura. And then later, with the last move in the round, the Riz comes in and he creates... Styles versus Nakamura. Totally legit move to do. Uh, since they were no longer on the card at that moment, he could bring them back on. So now we're in a bit of a conundrum, because usually when your move doesn't survive to the end of the round, you are we are obligated to invite you back under the Alex Cars rule. But as I sit here thinking, uh, the end result was still what Missy intended with her move. So I'm going to say that the Alex Cars rule does not apply here. Uh, so Missy... I'm sure you'll be happy to hear. You will not be invited back next week. We'll find someone else to make a move. You're free. Be free, wife of the show. Be free. And know that you will no longer have to worry about um, uh, coming up with a move next week because I love to uh, drag her into these things and make her keep making moves. I think she's done like four or five moves already. Uh, anyway, I keep track. Um, uh, what else uh, can we get into? I don't, I don't know. Gar- Garza, is there anyone? Uh, what do you think? About the Hardys. I can't believe the Hardys didn't get used this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. I no thought it was going to be like first move it was going down, but it never happened. Me too, because, I mean, last week we did have an argument that, well, they're still with TNA. It's not official, but now it is official. And it's also, I guess, official for Drew Galloway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and no one brought him up to fight uh, for that UK title. He's definitely a lot taller than Tyler Bates. So, I don't know. Maybe the broken Hardy, the broken brilliance will come back. But, okay, here's the thing. Yeah. Now they cannot go for the the day of the new. The day of the new. I know. It's too bad. Yeah. It's and done. The only, yeah, and, and yeah, well, have no chance of seeing the Bucks of Youth either. So, you know, they're yeah, tied oh, yeah. down. So, uh, let me, before we go, I want to remind everybody, um, you still have, as you're watching this on a Tuesday or a Wednesday morning, uh, you still have a few more days to send in your guesses and enter the Mayhem Mania Fast Lane Challenge. Uh, send us your guess for the total time for the Kevin Owens Goldberg main event at Fast Lane. Closest without going over, and we're talking bell to bell, we'll be timing it. Closest without going over with your guess, you will get to hand out a free dose of punishment to any of our saps. Helpless players who are coming in uh, next week, next Tuesday for Mayhem Mania. You will get to hand out some punishment to them. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to have double doses of punishment next week, Sorg. One from Med Mike and one from the winner of our uh, Fast Lane Challenge. So uh, put it in the comments section here if you're watching this on Facebook or just uh, or just tweet it at us, at Mayhem Show. Um, and we'll, or, 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 what's that, Sorgy? Or YouTube? Yep, YouTube comments. We'll take those too. Uh, we'll be checking to keep an eye on them and uh, make sure we get everybody checked out. We'll try to give you some sort of acknowledgement that uh, we got your guests and we'll get you in here. Uh, Garza, I think you you came in pretty low on this thing. Uh, wait, yeah, I, I, I'm, 20? I'm totally 120. 120. 120. 120. I love it. I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be so much fun. It's definitely going to en- enhance my viewing of that match as I sit there and well, watch. Well, Matt, Matt, yeah. what happens if someone actually scores a specific time? Come on, there's got to be more the specific. Yeah, there's got to be an extra bonus prize. I like the idea of the, um, you know, I, no, you know what? No one eats for free on Mayhem Mania, especially when it comes to the Patreon in the bank round. So we're not going to give anyone free admission to Patreon in the bank. But if someone hits the time 
on the nose. Should I give him three seconds? No, 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 no. If you hit the time on the nose, hit it on the nose, you will be able to auto-graduate any match that's currently on our Mayhem Mania card to the Super Card. That's right. An automatic graduation power. God-like graduating powers granted upon you if you nail it on the nose. Bell to bell, Owens Goldberg, the Fast Lane Challenge. Thank you for reminding me, Garza. You're a fantastic guest. <laughs> um, well, well, thank you very much for joining me, Garza. As I said, this this is a nice, quick show. And uh, enjoy your travels. Enjoy your bicycle riding. Uh, I wish you nothing but uh, <laughs> but safe travels down there. And uh, I look forward to uh, bonding with you over Lucha Underground in the very near future. Oh, yes. It needs to happen. Definitely. More violence, baby. And uh, thank you all for watching. Um, check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com to uh, stay up to speed on all the fun things happening with Mayhem Mania. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying it with us. Uh, send us your feedback. Tell us which matches you hate, who needs to go, all that good stuff. And stay Mayhemmy. <laughs>